Yeah. yeah. Guys, uh, we did that, you know, the third week. It was like a three months experience, you know, like we traveling for uh, five different countries, uh, six different type of uh, camps and martial arts. We get the best of each martial art. We're going the best school. We start in uh, Russian. I feel in Russian, we get the best school, same school as uh, Fedo did and, uh, and the president of Russia did Sambo. You know, the best fighters, we pick two best fighters and we, you know, we follow them and, the, and they place, eat with them, you know, have their life, you know, with the kids and everything. And then in the fight, they had a tournament and those two guys we picked, they went to the final. You know, the fight was very interesting. The second episode, uh, we filmed. We went to Thailand, we got the best, four best new talents in Thailand, you know, and we filmed since the guys fighting uh, uh, the King Cup, you know, the eliminatory for the King Cup, then we have another fighter, another two fighters fighting another gr great event, then we have another kid who's fighting a little small event in a little town, so we see the three different types of Muay Thai, you know, then we went to Korea and have two Olympic champs, you know, training camps and things like that. Then we filmed the tournaments. Uh, and then after that, we went to karate. We got the, uh, the best karate guys in the whole Okinawa, the south of Japan. We see that, that the episode was more about the culture of the karate. And, uh, and we filmed the best coaches. And then at the end of the show, they, 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 they broke the world record of doing the kata. And the street was a far, more than 5,000 people doing the kata. This episode we didn't have fight. Then we went to judo. We filmed the university tournaments. That in Japan is the highest tournament, highest level. With the, you know, we, we train a you know, couple of Olympic champs in, in Tokai. We, we we get really close to the Tokai University, the best university down there. And uh, it was great episode. You know, a lot of fights, a lot of you know, like. Uh, uh, high level of judo, you know, that then from there we flew, we finished Japan, we flew to Oklahoma State University, you know, to film with the, with a great guy, who was a coach, uh, John Smith, John Smith, you know, was a two time Olympic champ, you know, the best coach in the United States, and was a great experience, you know, after we see too much about martial arts, bell things we saw about athleticism, you know, in the end, or the series, we, you know, we, we have a great experience, you know, in a, in a small town, United States, but we saw a high level athletes, but, you know, training out there. It was amazing, man. I'll tell you guys, I've been fighting for so long, for more than 16 years. I had the best experience in the martial arts doing this series. Like, you know, I will tell you, after I did the karate and judo, I was sitting down there in the, in, in, in the shed, talk to the coach. I say, I could die right now. You know, I'm complete, you know, in the martial arts. I see like the guys with 85 years old, they were, like nine degree of like black belt in karate, the highest judo guys. And I have this and I had this chance, you know, because I was pro fighter, you know. So I had this chance, you know, with third degree. It was a great amazing experience to me. And it's good to get close, MMA to the martial arts. I think the martial arts is the heart of the MMA, you know, and and we very focused on the best performance right there, but you know, sometimes we gotta see the martial arts, how beautiful they are. Minotaro, was there uh, any story uh, with doing this series, any story in particular that you felt like it gave you a chance to tell that, that maybe is kind of an, an underreported story that a lot of people might not have already known about? You know, I'll tell you, we were filming the guys for Muay Thai, and we have over 60,000 60, poor guys in the Muay Thai that in Thailand. We was filming four guys. You know, one, one of those guys, they died after the third, three weeks of, uh, you know, filming that. It was a fight. They, they say he died, he died by stroke, but they fight very tough over there, you know? So, they, you know, see their training, the way they fight every, like, two weeks, you know? I mean, that's no, like, you know, nobody see their health how they are, the tough, the training, the way they fight, the elbows and everything, you know. I think that's that's impressed me, really impressed me. Do you think this could be a good education for fans who maybe started out being fans of MMA to go back and learn about individual Yeah, yeah, I think you said everything, man, you know. We, we, 
when we train MMA, we look for you know performance athleticism. But you know we should look up for the you know uh, what we learn, the coach, you know the knowledge the way they teach. You know separate martial arts. I love that. You know belt systems. You know. I think uh, for the fans, it's a good chance to see it. But what happened in Russia? We heard you almost got arrested. And, uh, I, you know, the, in the Russian, uh, the day we was filming the memorial of, uh, you know, the, the dads. Because of the series, we feel a little bit of, of the history of the country, you know, how the people get involved in the fight, the history. And we, get to, we went to film the memorials. And then we was close there and uh, the, the, you know, some guy gave me some food. So I was eating down there, but you know, some, uh, and the guys came and said, he's not allowed to eat now there. So he's very violent with me. So, oh, oh, oh <laughs> I'm tourist here. You know? <laughs> but it was, was fun. You know, each country have the different, like the way they see people. It was fun. The Russians, they're very tough. That's why I saw it. Man. Which one was the hardest? Uh, which one was hardest? For you. I mean, you know, in, I'll tell you in the wrestling, I was, my knee was, I, I almost didn't train, you know, the, the kids were so athletic, you know, they so tough, in my, you know, after doing like five camps, I was <laughs> fucked up, it was the last one, <laughs> I couldn't do it all, and I see these, those kids that are giants, you know, they want to eat me though, so that one, I did, a, you know, I trained a little bit, just like two training, but if I, I I'm sure if I do it at home, you know, season the train of that they'll kill me, you know. I got an old guy now, you know. <laughs> but uh, the Muay Thai, I see the training camp. Those kids, they jog 12 kilometers every day. Then they do one hour and a half to clinch be before they training. So I saw, it, you know, they, the day in the uh, Muay Thai and uh, wrestling, the toughest one was a, you know, was a training system. Did everyone know who you were? Yeah, that was, yeah. I, I, you know, I was very known, in the, especially that in Japan, for the, the judo, judo and karate. I, 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 I am a judo black belt, you know, I started judo. So to me, it was like, it was a very patient to, to film the judo there in Japan. We had the highest level, then the small academies there in uh, uh, Osaka. So we see about everything about the martial arts, you know, since the highest level. And uh, yeah, I pretty, pretty known that in Japan, and I was was amazing the way they treat us. Always when they fight in pride, we uh, the, the you know the MMA try to get close to the judo best guys, but you know we feel a little bit they're a little bit ahead, you know different. But from the documentary, they say they see the way we show the judo, the way we train with them. I think it was good relation, you know, for the for the MMA. You know, you mentioned something at the top that like keeping the martial arts close to MMA is important. Um, do you feel like that's being lost a little bit? Like we're living in an era now in MMA where a lot of guys, they like will even say, I'm not a martial artist, I'm a prize fighter, I want the biggest fight, I don't really care about the number one contender anymore. Do you feel like a little bit of that spirit's being lost? You know, by, but some guys get back there again, you know what I mean? You know, today how we will see, you know, the kid, you know, is a karate guy. He's fighting today. I love to see kids like that. You know what I mean? He he put back the belt thing, you know, bounding, you know, brought his father, you know, family. I think people see the better better look when you put the martial arts in, into the cage, you know. And a lot a lot of guys come. Even McGregor, he's a black belt too. You know what I mean? He trains, you know, taekwondo. Some guys like Anderson Silva used to train taekwondo. You know, I think that every every fighter. They have the uh, singular martial arts, what they like to What do you think about George St. Pierre coming back? Beautiful, you know, beautiful. You know, we very care about our rankings, you know what I mean? But that's happened a lot in boxing. You know, sometimes the guy drop the weight division, goes up three, three weight divisions, you know what I mean? That makes very interesting, people want to see it. He's the type of guy, him, Anderson Silva, you know, sometimes they're not a First one of the ring, but they able to go there and fight for it. Everything can happen, you know. I want to see that fight. Really want to see that fight. He looks like he's hungry. I saw him yesterday in the press conference. They say the thing he was saying, you know, it's not it's not bullshit. Man. He's he's hungry though. <laughs> Where he is that, yeah, one of the best fights I haven't seen. Yeah, one of the best fights I haven't seen when he fought down there, you know, uh, before, you know, in the Mandalay Bay in, in 
many arenas in that and even that in Canada. So I'm very excited to see him. Were you expecting the fight between Ferguson and Khabib? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Was was I'll, I'll tell you I came here to see this fight. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Khabib many and Ferguson is a amazing new MMA. We never know what he's gonna throw. He throw the right hand and right kick. You know, it's very like. You know, unusually, you know, different way as Muay Thai, excite fighter, and the way he's, he he beat those angels, you know, yeah. he, I didn't expect that the way he did. And uh, but I'm a big fan of Khabib, you know, he's undefeated. It's not easy to be like 23 fights undefeated, yeah, or 24. 24. 24. You know, he's uh, he's the guy I look forward to watch. You know, and I feel sorry for him, but you know, maybe he just wasn't this type. In, the, in you know, he got. More time to wet, to get ready and to drop the way, you know, get the way. You know, there's only three UFC events, I believe, this year in uh, Brazil. Is the state of MMA healthy in Brazil? Are they? Is, is MMA healthy in Brazil right now? It's healthy. Is, is the sport thriving? Like, why, is it doing okay? He's doing okay. He's doing okay. Now, on uh, that, you know, always growing, you know. Now, the time with girls, we got Amanda Nunes did great, you know. We got the Chris Cyborg, you know. We still have a big name in that's Aldo, you know. And then we have those angels fighting for, you know. We have Jacare right there close. We have the Damian Maia right close. So we always we got some good Brazilians. We just have John Lineker fighting for the belt, you know. And uh, a lot of guys fighting for, you know, uh, for the belt. So Brazil is still, you know, they showing they have a, a global TV in Brazil. And uh, what the guys from? <laughs> I was the biggest TV in Brazil by far, and they have a like, Juice Sport channel. They call it Sport TV, so everyone watches that channel. They have a only uh, fight channel. Uh, they call Canal Combate. That's more than 500 subscribers a month, 500,000. So it's a Brazil is pretty big this sport. What do you think of Maya having to fight again before getting the title shot? You know. I mean, he, he got a chance to, 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 you know, step back because he's right there. But he is a warrior, man. You know, he believes he can win the fight. I think the strategy wise, it's a dangerous fight. The other guy, is, you know, must be down with good hands. But Maya, he believes in himself. Since he got a good wrestling, you know, he changed that, uh, his game and he's very aggressive right now. So I believe he can win the fight and fight for the belt in the next. Do you keep track of um, women's MMA because um, two Brazil you have a Brazilian champion at 35 and uh, uh, Andrade is fighting for the 15 belt? Yeah, I mean you know that the, the, that's a time of the females that in, in Brazil you know the girls doing really well and we have a three side box right there too. So I believe you know at least from those three two we're gonna have two belts from the, the females. So Brazil really doing well in the females. And Andrade, he got a good chance too, you know, she's upcoming, no expectation here, she don't, don't put the weight in her shoulder, you know, and I think she can do well, yeah, she's good.